In a previous video, I explained how to create a holo sticker and discussed a shortcut method for creating a holo mask, where instead of working on separate RGB channels, I simply did everything on one saturated image. However, after doing some experiments, I realized that working on the RGB channels separately and according to the official documentation can have its benefits. So in this video, I will discuss how to create a holo mask the official way, and as always, I'll be doing it in GIMP. As I did with the sticker tutorial, I will continue working on my Angry Chicken sticker. Unfortunately, in GIMP, there is no direct way to work on the RGB channels. Unlike Photoshop, the channels cannot be edited directly. Instead, we will create three regular layers, each representing one of the color channels, and we'll edit those layers. All the layers will be painted with black, white, and gray colors. Here I have the layers of my image, as well as the full image in one layer. I will duplicate the full layer three times, and will rename the layers to red, green, and blue. Keep the full image layer because we will need it later. The layers that contain the image parts will come in very handy when we select the image parts for painting. Let's start by editing the red channel. The red channel is responsible for deciding which parts of the sticker should have the holographic effect and which areas should show the base texture. White means fully holographic, black means no holo effect, and gray means that the area will have some holo effect depending on how light or dark the gray color is. So for our purpose, I want the head, body, hand, and the eyes to be holographic while keeping everything else as it is. And I'll start by coloring the non-holographic areas with black. I will disable the RGB layers for now and will only show the layer I'm currently working on in order to avoid mistakes during the selection. After every selection, I'll go back to the red layer and paint the selected area with black. Now the non-holographic parts are black, and coincidentally the holographic parts are already white so we're done with the red channel. Let's work on the green channel now. The green channel should contain any pattern we wish to add, if any. I will use a diamond shaped pattern that I prepared earlier and will apply it to the head and body of the chicken, and will color the rest with black. Now let's work on the blue channel. The blue channel is especially interesting because it allows us to choose specific colors from the color spectrum to be applied to specific parts of the sticker. The spectrum that I'll be using is this one. The lighter a specific area in the blue channel is, the lower the color chosen from the spectrum will be. However, don't use fully white or fully black colors, only values ranging from light gray to dark gray. So let's start editing the blue channel and I'll start by coloring the whole image black. I will give each holographic part a different gray color so that different colors from the spectrum will be applied. I will give the body the colors of the upper part of the spectrum, the eyes will have the second part, the hand the third part, and the head will be assigned the bottom part. So this means that I will give the body a dark gray color, the eyes will have a slightly lighter color, and so on. We're done editing the RGB layers. Now we need to combine them. And the way we'll do so is by copying them one by one and pasting them into the full image layer. However, every time we copy a layer, we'll disable the color channels representing the other RGB layers. So for example, let's start by copying the red layer. Press Ctrl C, then go to the channels tab. You should have it by default, but in case you don't, go to windows, dockable dialogs, and choose channels. In the Channels tab, keep the visibility of the channels untouched. What we need to do is to click on the channels that we want to disable and leave the red channel untouched. Now let's go back to the Layers tab and paste by pressing Ctrl V. This will give us a floating layer which we can anchor to the full image layer. Now as you can see, instead of black, we now see cyan. The reason for that is because the opposite of red is cyan. For each color there is an opposite color, 
and when that color is lacking in its own channel, it will be compensated by its opposite color. For red, it's cyan, for green, it's magenta, and for blue, it's yellow. So in our final mask, we will end up with some weird color combination. Now let's follow the same steps for the green and blue layers. I'll copy the green layer, go to the channels tab, and only choose the green channel, then paste on top of the full image layer and anchor it. Same goes for the blue channel. Now we can export the image to TGA and VTF files. As I've shown earlier, I'll be using this color spectrum. I decided to go with a 2048 by 2048 spectrum as it is easier to work with. And now when we check the sticker, we can see that it's behaving as we want. The white areas in the red channel have the hollow effect. The areas where we applied the diamond pattern in the green channel have the diamond pattern. And the colors of the holographic areas are assigned according to the blue channel. So again, this is the official way to create a holo mask. If you're interested in the faster method for creating the mask, then do check out my other video that talks about it. Let me know in the comments which method you think is better.